Hey, so if this is your first time watching, I'm at a restaurant called Beetroot. The name is not, not so good. They need to work on the name. But this deal here, 200K, all you can eat. You've got steak, red snapper, chicken breasts, and lamb leg. And there's a few sides, butter, rice, flatbread, potato wedges, and you can pretty much, you can have as much as you want. So 200K is about $12.68. It's an insane deal. I actually wanted to go somewhere else tonight, but we didn't book. And the restaurant is only next door. So then we were deciding, well, where should we eat? And obviously this is such a good deal. It's hard to say no, but today, I've just had fruit all day, so I'm feeling ready for some food. What time is it? I think it's like 7.30. 7.30. Oh, 7.40. 7.40, yeah. yeah so we're ready for food. Norma's not feeling too well, are you? I'm not going to talk too much today. <laughs> no? Okay. That's fine. I just talked to myself. What do you look for in a man? Yeah. Like the quality. Yeah, yeah. I would love to have a man that is value health and fitness. Yeah. Because I think it's really important because I mean it's just it's good. <laughs> yeah. It is good. <laughs> it's good to be fit and healthy. <laughs> oh thank you. Um, Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, who doesn't want to have a like fit partner? Hmm? Sometimes I don't eat this, but I'm that hungry that brought it anyway. I don't have the energy to refuse. So I'm just going to eat what it. What is that? What this is thing? It? Something I shouldn't be eating, that's for sure. Prawn wonton. Oh, wonton? Yeah, wonton. Right one. Mm. So you value a man who's into health and fitness? Yeah. Yeah? What else? Is that your only requirement? No. I like a man that has, you know, uh, like a purpose in his life. Like what? Like a dream, ambition, ambition. A dream, yeah? Yeah, a dream, ambition. Something is working yeah, towards. Yeah. Keen. Definitely. Does it matter what kind of dream it is? <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Yeah. What if he was so concerned with his goal that you sometimes didn't get as much attention as you'd like? It's mm. a good question. Actually. I feel like it's always balance is always good, and I don't know. It depends. Like, what am I looking for? on at that time because like if you I don't know it's hard to explain <laughs> <Got it. laughs> I cannot answer that question <clears throat> why not mm. no is the answer what do you mean if a guy meets all your other criteria but he puts his goal before you you're just respecting for that You'd probably help him. Yeah. Right? Support. Yeah. Yeah. And I also have a goal. I mean, I also have a dream. Whoa, you're not allowed goals and dreams. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's not I'm fair. I'm joking, obviously. Come on. I feel like as a partner, we have to support Okay, here we go. Time for the real stuff. None of this rabbit food. Is it here? Yes. Oh, wow. How's oh. the salad? Good. Mm, okay. Very good. 
Do you need some more salad or what? No, thank you. Can I get salt, please? Salt, yes. Yeah. You made the plates bigger. You can take a photo. Yeah. We should have ordered some potato wedges as well. Rookie mistake. Yeah. But fortunately, we can order as much as we want. So you can get a refill with this? You can have as many plates of these wow. as you want. It's ridiculous. I don't know whether to show these guys because some of these guys will have seen it so many times already. If you're curious about this meal, two videos before this, I was here on my own and I talked a little bit more in depth about the food. We're not going to have the focus of this video on the food itself. Instead, Norma's going to drop some wisdom. So all the guys out there know how to get ladies. I think I might just eat here every night. So you look for a man who's into health and fitness. He has a big goal or a purpose that he's working towards. What else? Maybe you want a more beef? Yeah. Or else more everything. Yeah. Can I get um, yeah. potato wedges? Okay, potato wedges. Two portions, please. What you look for in a man. Into health and fitness. Also has a goal or a purpose. What else? Masculine. <laughs> Masculine, yeah? yeah? What are some things that when a guy does, you're like, okay, this guy's masculine. He organized things, he planned, he planned, like, he planned things, yeah? Yeah, he planned, he organized He makes things. reservations. He makes reservations. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a woman's job. No, it's a man. It's a 100% a woman's job. Why? The man will make the decision. It's like, hey, babe, can you, can you make a booking? If it's like first or second yeah. or third day, maybe not. But after that. Okay. Because typically the man's going to be much busier than the woman. Yeah, yeah. You know? Okay, I agree with that. But for like first few days. For the first few to. days, yeah. I feel like they have to. So yeah, he makes plans. What else? When a guy does it, you know he's masculine or... He leads. <laughs> Like what? He just says, hey, we're going here, this is what we're doing. It's just like small things, you know, when it's initiate. Yeah. Initiate. Um, yeah. Is height important to you? <laughs> what? Um, uh, not really. <laughs> Oh see, God, see, God. see, did you notice the tone of voice there? Yeah, I'll keep the, this uh, barbecue sauce. More keep barbecue that. sauce? Yeah, bring more please, yeah. <clears throat> but come on, you so, women will often give you a false positive, which means they will say words, but the meaning is the opposite of what they say. And that's what just happened then. I don't know, I feel like if, we, if, it, if let, it's let all me, of the let boxes, me, yeah. it's all, fine. All of the boxes, yeah. it is. It's fine if he's shorter than you. Oh no. No, no, can't be shorter than you. At least same height? What about when you've got heels on? No, it's just like five centimeters. Five higher. centimeters higher? Yeah. That's your limit. Okay, how tall are you? 165. What's that in feet and inches, do you know? 5.5. Huh? 5. Five five. Five five. Yeah. Okay. So you want a man who's at least five six. Five no. seven. Five yeah. eight at least. Well, five centimeters is what, two inches? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm just I'm just making this up. I'm just guessing. Yeah. So your limit is five eight. Yeah. Because I'm I'm not that tall. Exactly. 
So, so here's, a, here's a really good piece of advice for short men who get really hung up on their height. Like so many people comment on some of my videos saying, getting jacked only helps you get girls if you're tall. And if you're not tall, it doesn't help at oh. all, which is bullshit. Absolute BS. But if you are a short man, my best advice to you will be to move to Asia because all the women are short here. So you'd be fine, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's true. Because your limit is what, five, eight? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most men are above five, eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that tall, so I think it doesn't really, it's not really a problem for me. But I feel like even even though, like, let's say you're living somewhere in, I don't know, in, in the state or in Europe, where the girls are very tall. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to feel small, you know, I mean, small. But they do feel small. Yeah, but you can work on something else, like you have to level up yourself. Yeah, so what right. should they level up? Physique. Physique, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, what else? getting fit. Um, make money. Hell yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> oh, what else? Yeah. What about their communication skills? Of course, that's really important. Like How they dress, is that important to you? Um, Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. Oh, the wedges look different today. I made it for this wedges. Thank you. Thank you very much. Want some wedges? No. Okay, more for me. I've not done these right today. What's more important to you, um, physique or finances? Both. <laughs> Both. Wow. No, I feel like physique first. Physique so first. first. I don't know, physique first and money first. I feel like when you're yeah, when you're working on your body, you will get motivated to work more, to get more money. No? Not always. I mean, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. It's just, they're all the same. Yeah, I think because it's the, the most too small. Yeah, that's okay. It's, I think it's because of the moisture as well. Mm -hmm. Moisture in there, you'd be better with the salt in a pot like this. The okay. salt, and then you could go like that. Right, that would work better. Okay, thank you. I'm going to tell them how to do their restaurant. I also told them that, hey, the pineapple needs to be warm. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you need to open a steak place. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if any of you want to own a steak restaurant in Bali, you can invest. I will come here every night make sure it's on point. Do you think men has to make money first and then work on their PC? No. And what? I think because you can do both. You only need to be in the gym an hour maximum a day. What are you going to do for the other 23 hours? You know? Perfect. Yeah, you look better. Thank you. Thank you. I think they're still missing something. What? <clears throat> they're still different. Still different. What do you? What have you done differently? Is it a different chef tonight? No, I'm not sure. Because <clears throat> I feel like. They were, they were more like whatever you coat them in mm -hmm. was more crispy last time. It's okay, it's fine. They're still nice, but I just don't think they're as good as okay. let me, previously. Let me call the chef. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Let me ask you. What's your verdict on the food? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the food? It's nice. Good. Well, that's already two portions of wedges, I think. Thank you. And what is, it? is this plate number three of meat? Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised they're still running this deal, to be honest. What's more important to you, height or money? Money. Yeah? That was very, very uh, easy decision. As long as he's taller than me, it's fine. <clears throat> what if he was super wealthy, but he was shorter than you? <laughs> like, I'm talking millionaire. Holidays every month, flying first class, trips here, trips there. If he's cute, it's okay. Hmm? If he's cute, it's fine. If he's cute. Yeah. So he can be shorter than you as long as he's rich. See, there's always a solution. What's more of a turn off for you? A fat man or a broke man? <laughs> Hear that, guys? Oh, okay. It's not hard to go to the gym like one hour. Okay, like I said. Would you rather date an ugly man or a broke man? Ugly and rich or broke and athletic? It's a tricky one, right? Ugly and rich, bro. I know some girls, they go for a rich one. I cannot. 100%. No, I cannot. If you it's can't. like, like, what do you mean ugly, ugly? Like, I just an ugly guy. You know? I can't answer that question. Why not? <laughs> Neither. So then maybe you go for the broke athletic guy, probably. Broke means like he can't make money at all. Like he, he doesn't want to. It try. means he like wanna... he he has, he has a job, but he's just getting by. You know, it's stressful. Have to make, have to, you know, watch everything he buys. Maybe you can only do date night like once a month. Once a month. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, right? Because you live in Asia and it's, it's cheap to eat out here. Yeah, but, in, get, like, but in England, people do like day night once a month or once a week. But what, what day? You can, you can just go to the park and walk. That's also dates. You don't have to spend money. Yeah, but I'm talking about dates where you spend money. For what? I'm talking about dates where you spend money. Oh. Not once in a month, that's too much. Too little. Too little. So you go for the ugly rich guy then? So, let's talk about dating apps. Oh, dating apps. Right? Um, so when you meet a guy off a dating app, yeah. how does it usually happen? How does it usually happen? Yeah. Like, do you spend a lot of time messaging, or is it like, you know, what's the what's the usual? Uh, how, how do you make a decision to meet a guy in the first place? Okay. So 
So it's, I feel like it's very tricky here in Bali because a lot of guys are on holidays. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people are on holidays here. Um, yeah, like in my past time, I met some guys that are like leaving, let's say, the next morning in two days. Um, but at the time, I didn't really like. They always do this. Let's say uh, we just stop, maybe like a few conversations, and then they're like, "Hey, do you want to meet later tonight?" Like straight away. Yeah. So that means like he's leaving soon. Not because necessarily. Some, yeah, because sometimes you don't, you don't. Like I don't have a chance to ask him. Cool. So you would meet a guy without asking him. No, like there's no chance to to ask. Like I'm here for a holiday. Like how long? Of course there is. No, I don't know at that time, but now yeah. I know. Okay. So like that, now you know that would be ask my first question. You know, like are you here for a holiday? Yeah. Are you like how long have you been here? Yeah. Yeah. That's not gonna apply to most people though. So. Well, yeah. That's it's for me. Yeah. But that's a good point. If there's like a deal breaker, you may as well just ask it straight away and qualify so you don't waste loads of time messaging someone who, you know, yeah. doesn't meet what you're looking for. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna ask about whether he's here for holiday or whether he's living here and then what else do you want to see from the messages? Before I met them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, to be very honest, dinner is like what you see for the first time is basic, right? Well, it's photos. Yeah. A lot of guys don't post the physique. Well, face at face. least. Face, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you look at a guy's photos, do you like look to see what his body looks like? I have to. You have to. Because I got a <laughs> bad experience. Oh yeah? Tell us about that bad experience. <laughs> I had a bad experience oh as well. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I was so bad though. Why? What did you do? I think they're going to hate me. No. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, so at that time I was like, I was young, maybe I was 25 or 24, mm -hmm. and I was, you know, we were like, okay, Tinder, it was, it was new, right, 10 years ago, something like that, but anyway, so, I was in Bali, I was in Bali for work, and then this guy was like, oh, hey, let's meet, I couldn't remember how did I see his picture, in, on Tinder, I don't remember, but anyway, so he picked me up on my, in my hotel, with a car so he's got a driver so we we had to sit together at the back seat mm -hmm. yeah and then when i see him i'm like fuck he's old <laughs> and bald <laughs> old and bald yeah <laughs> with the glasses yeah anyway well you, like, you can see that from his photos right i couldn't remember how did i say yes i, I wow. couldn't remember it was like ages ago okay I remember. so i had to sit with him and then he was like talking and talking and talking. At that time, I was very quiet. I was young. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, oh my god, I cannot. This guy is like too much. My ears, like I couldn't. No, like, mm, too much. So we we arrived in the restaurant, and I was like, oh my god, I want to leave. But anyway, so we ordered food. <laughs> Go we on. order. Yeah. <laughs> we order food, and I was like, "Can I go to the toilet?" <laughs> I took my bag and I left. Wow. That was bad, guys. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was so bad. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Classic. The food. Classic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Imagine that guy, poor guy, sat on his own. Yeah. <laughs> that was really bad. I was young. I was scared, you know, like I don't want to sit with this person. 
Yeah. If, if, he's, if he's okay, I mean, he's not my type, obviously. But if he's not really talking too much, I would sit probably. He was just like talking and talking and talking. He was probably talking because you weren't talking at all. That's just what I'm going to guess. Really, I don't know. Yeah, and the other one was like, <laughs> I have another one as yeah. well. So he only had like one picture on his Tinder profile, mm -hmm. I remember. And then the picture was like from the side and he was driving Ferrari on the side. Okay. Still? Um, yeah, it's more crispy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with the price? <laughs> it's they try. Hmm? They try. <clears throat> but how can you not cook the, them the same way they cook them every time? You know what I mean? It's actually better for me to just be honest. The go. <clears throat> so what's this other story? He had one photo. He had one photo, and it was from the side. <clears throat> yeah. He was driving a nice car. So I was like, okay, let's try. So he came over, he picked me up. He had a big car. He picked me up, and he was like, I got in. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's just not my type, you know? Why? I think the photo was like from 10 years ago. Oh yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So he's way older. <clears throat> so anyway, so we, we went to Starbucks, we got a coffee and it was like, do you want to walk at the park? At that time I was in Qatar. Yeah. Do you want to walk at the park? I was like, yeah. So I was like, oh my god, I have to I have to think my escape my escape one And I texted my friend, call me now. And she called me and I was like, hey, what happened? Are you okay? Okay, I'm coming now, I'm coming now. And I told him my friend is in the hospital, so I Wow. Well, this is what I mean about women. They'll never give you the, the straight answer because they care too much about your feelings. About our feeling or your feeling? Their feelings. The other person. Yeah. Ah. But what you do instead is actually way worse. <laughs> what, what, should I, what should I do then? I mean, before you sit down and order food, you should be like, hey, I'm sorry. But I, yeah. I'm not interested right. in you, and I don't want to you to waste your time. Like another meat, maybe. Sorry. Like another meat. Um, more beef, please. Beef only. Yeah. Can you make it more rare? rare. Like medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. Do you want to have wine? Yeah, you want wine? Okay. Cool. We we'll get some wine. You finished? Yeah? Yeah, so they make money on you for sure. What? But on me, they won't make any money. Money? The restaurant. Oh. When I come here, they lose oh, money. Because yeah. <laughs> you love them. Yeah, yeah. But for you, yeah. they, they make money. Hi. They just he, he kept talking. Huh? So do you prefer it when the guy listens and you talk? No? It has to be, you know, like conversation with like two people, right? The keeper and the receiver. And the, best, the best the best dates are when you don't say anything and they say everything. When I'm on the first uh, date, I barely say anything about myself. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like very little. I'll say like one or two things and then it'd be like back to you. Why? Why? Because the more mysterious you can be, the better. Because women's psychology is they will just come to their own conclusions. And their conclusion is always going to be a lot better 
than whatever you tell them. So you're better off just not saying much about you at all. And people love to talk about themselves. In the yeah. book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, I've plugged this book before, I'm gonna plug it again because if you're yeah. struggling with dating, this book will help massively. And in the book, it really talks about have you had a more beef? Yeah, more beef, please. Yeah, thank you. In the book, it talks about you've got to become genuinely interested in other people. And that means asking questions, but then also listening to what they say. Because if you become a good listener, what most people do when they're having a conversation is they're waiting until the other person's finished so then they can say what they want to say. But the way you never run out of anything to talk about is this is perfect thank you is by actually genuinely listening to what the other person is saying and then you just ask them a question about what they've just said so norma might say oh i uh i do i like doing yoga right cool thank you Instead of saying, oh, me too, I like doing yoga, you could say, oh, cool, how did you get into doing yoga? What type of yoga do you like to do? When did you first try yoga? What do you like about it? You know, you ask questions about the thing that they're talking about, and that's how you end up saying very little about yourself, and you get, you get to know them, and they feel like, oh, the date's gone really well, and they've just been talking the whole time. Yeah, I can't think of best, best what first day. My worst one. Tinder story. <clears throat> My worst Tinder story. Yeah. So I was in Riga. What is that? Riga in Latvia. Oh, it's a country. Latvia, yeah. yeah, the capital is called Riga. Very boring place. Twenty twenty. During all the lockdowns. Well, Latvia was still open, so there were no lockdowns. I didn't make a single friend whilst I was there. I just used to go to the steak restaurant every night and go to the gym and go to the park during the day. That was pretty much it. So I just played Tinder, Rumble, uh, not, not, not Rumble, just Tinder. And um, I met a few girls there. Anyway, the first girl that I met, um, when she showed up, she was like 10 kg heavier than her photos. So all the photos must have been old. And I was just like, oh, oh, okay. So I was like, okay, I need a, need a quick exit. But I also don't want to be a dick. So I was like, hey. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you. I didn't even ask for this. I'm just getting more plates of me. Thank you very much. Yes, I was thinking, oh, how can I get out of this without being a dick? So I met her and instantly straight away, I, was, I just knew like, this is, no. So I, um, I was like, hey, I, uh, I'm not really feeling that hungry. I think we should get a drink. Just, just get a drink instead. I didn't really, like, I, I said it, but I didn't really give her a choice, you know what I mean? I'm like, we're getting a drink, we're not getting food. I just had one drink and I said, hey, I'm sorry, I gotta go. But it was so painful. I was just sat there, I'm thinking, how am I, why, why am I in this situation? Why am I even sat here right now? Like, I probably should have said something to her when we just met, but, you know, you don't wanna like, hurt yeah. the other person's feelings, right? But she knew. Overall though, I feel like I'm pretty good at like sussing girls out. What's that mean? Like qualifying. Like if I look at the photos and I'm not sure, always get the Instagram first. Always. Yeah. You know? And then check the Instagram. Oh, wine has been deployed. Cheers. Quite good. Nice, yeah. I like it.
diet starts next week. What if you meet a guy, right? Yeah. He's super wealthy. You don't have to work. You get whatever you want, whenever you want. He's handsome. He's a top 1% man. He takes every single fucking box. Good looking, handsome? good okay. physique, young, rich, interesting, charismatic, good in bed. Every single box is ticked, except he's like, hey, I gotta have multiple wives. So you have everything taken care of, you don't have to work, you've got a personal maid, you've got a credit card, you can just buy whatever you want, whenever you want, but you don't always get all of them. Would you take that deal? Right now, I might say no. I don't know. No. Yeah. I think you would take that deal. For no, yes. I think you would. If I was a girl, I would. You would? <laughs> Why would I want to be with Mr. Joe Average? <clears throat> Sat at a restaurant, all you can eat 200k. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> when you could be, I don't know, wherever. Could be sat on a, a yacht right now. So when you look at a guy's Tinder profile, what are the, what pictures should he have on there? Face. Body. So he needs like a one close up of his face? Yeah. Okay. We don't glasses. See, I don't think I even have one of those. You don't like glasses? No, I mean a close up. Oh, I do holding the geckos. <laughs> yeah. Close up, body. No so like shirtless? Yeah, it's important for me. <laughs> yeah, just be honest. If it's yeah. important for you, it's important for you. Yeah, so I need a yeah. face, shirtless. What else? Shirtless. Okay. <laughs> Why? This is perfect. Hey, this is what guys want to know. Yeah, yeah if you don't have a good body, you need to get in shape. Yeah. I feel like now most of the girls are also you know, into fitness, so no. you don't want to be... No, we just live in a bubble what? where everyone's into fitness here. But outside of that, the majority of people are not into fitness. But they have a good diet. Who? Like people in the West? Europe. European. Europeans have a good diet. Yeah. yeah. Mostly. Much better than... America, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, just two photos is enough? No. Okay. So what uh, else do you look for? Car? It's not important for me. It's, it's not really important for you, okay. Maybe hobbies? Is it a red flag if they do show flashy? Um, it depends how flashy. I'm talking like... Rolex no, watch, no, no, not even a Rolex, something way better than that. Yeah, you know, like private, private jet, you know, like just trying really hard. But maybe that's their life. Yeah. So you probably still swipe yes. Probably. Oh, that depends. Okay, what else? Hobby. Uh, hobbies, yeah. Hobby. And I don't really like when a guy put like black and white photo yeah. on Tinder profile. That's it's so feminine, like, right? Not so feminine, but it's just like it's it's showing that this guy is it's like insecure. I I yeah, hmm? Do I know him? No. He's just friendly. So no black and white photos, okay? This is really good advice, actually. Is it really? Yeah, this is su Maybe, super uh, good. Um, close up, full body, body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hobbies. 
Yeah. yeah. Pets. I don't know. I don't. I like don't a dog like dogs. Photo? Okay. No, yeah. Maybe no. for a girl who loves dogs. Yeah. What else? Oh yeah. I don't like when the guy doesn't have um, bio. No bio is bad. No bio is bad. I don't have bio. Well, you said something. Huh? You don't have it. I don't have bio. I have in the past, but I don't say anything no, serious. It's like. Oh yes, this is looking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Pineapple and red wine. What a great combination. I will get you. Yes, that will be good. Thank you. So, what is a good bio to have as a guy? Should it be really long? No, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Simple, but simple bio. Simple, but yeah. Not too cheeky as well, because I've, I've seen so many guys and you know, like, blah, blah, blah. and I love it when it's like. Simple. I'm not going to tell you my bios because you'll steal them. I can tell you guys. I know. So what do you want to see in the bio which makes you think, oh yeah, what if they say looking for a serious relationship? Do many guys say that? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> there I are thought, some, yeah. I thought that was just women. <laughs> no, just kidding. A good exercise, guys, is to set up a Tinder profile as the opposite sex and then you can see the competition oh. and then that, that's what you're up against. So if you've got a belly, if you're scared to take a topless photo, just remember, Mr. Sixpack is in your town stealing your women. And then you've got Mr. Popping Bottles at the club, Mr. Ferrari, Mr. Lambo, Mr. Flying Around the World so hard like if you're just an average guy I know I've been there myself you know that's why I can say this is because I have been Mr. Average like competition is high but it's so easy to get ahead because nobody's doing the basics like you get a six-pack most men do not have a six-pack and it is easy to get a six pack. Any man can get a six pack There's within so a year. <laughs> in in Bali, yeah. But in America, did you know there are more men the more men who are millionaires than than they are with six packs. But in Bali there's a lot of six packs. Yeah. Competition is high. There's a lot of studs here. I see them I see them every day at the beach, driving around. I'm like, damn. <clears throat> Good place to be. But you, you know? You'll get motivated to, you know, like level up. Yeah, of course. If I was, if I was on an island and I was the only guy with a six pack, That's it, I'd be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Good food. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. Great deal. Yeah. So the wine was more expensive than the meal. Yeah. Which is crazy deal. But that's where they made money. How do you feel when a guy sends you a DM on Instagram? What kind of DM? Can be anything. Do you like it or not? Depends on the guy, right? Okay. Yeah. See, the thing is, is two guys could say the exact same thing, but if one guy's attractive and the other guy's ugly, it, it's taken a completely different way. Right? <laughs> Life, life's unfair. So you just gotta level up. Exactly, yeah. That's true. What is a really good DM? Really I, good I, I actually am genuinely curious because I don't send many cold DMs. Very rarely. So I would love to know what is a good one to send. I think I should, I showed you. You show me that one. I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No. 
Why? I think I saw you at X place mm. last night. Was it you or was it just someone who looks like you? Or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Standard. Is it standard? Yeah. It's so different than the other guy because... What do like, you usually get? Hi. 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 Hi is the no, worst like, DM you could ever send is hi. Or like they're commenting my story. Yeah, oh, standard. So blah, blah, blah. Commenting on the story is a classic one. Classic. But you never comment on the uh, provocative one. It's always like, you what? know, I saw a meme the other day what? where it said, uh, like, liking her sunset photo instead of her bikini photo. So <laughs> she thinks I'm a good guy. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. It works, is it? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Another tip for you. Because girls, if they if they post like sunset picture without their face or the bikini, they will get like ten likes some day. If they post a photo with bikinis or so you stand like, out more. Yeah. Also, as a hot girl, you get a lot of DMs. So you got to stand out, right? You can't just say hi. Yeah. You gotta say something different. Just ignore. How important is Instagram? Oh, for me, it's really important. I use it's it important. Work. It's forward. I use it for work. No, no. I mean, in like as a guy trying to get girls. Yeah. Because I don't I actually use Instagram. You know. But, but like, if I like was active on Instagram, for sure, I would have. Even more options. Oh. But I think as a bare minimum, you need like nine photos. On Instagram? Yeah. yeah. Nine high quality photos. I wouldn't even look at my Instagram as inspiration. Because I just look like an absolute gym bro on my Instagram. I think you need more variety. Show different parts of you. Ideally be in different places. Be in nice places. Nice restaurant, nice Bali's hotel. Nice travel somewhere. You know? I definitely wouldn't use my Instagram as a something to inspo yeah would you date a guy if he didn't have instagram yeah would that be a green flag for you yes yeah <laughs> why because no girls can be sliding in that's a very green flag yeah <laughs> I don't know, as a, as, a, as a girl, you just need to feel safe, you know, in a relationship. So, say if you're a guy, right, and you don't have an Instagram right now, but you want to get some girls, is a guy better off just going straight to the dating apps and not no. having an Instagram and saying, hey, I don't use Instagram, I don't like it? Because I feel like that's very attractive when you said that. Boom, well, that is a fucking shortcut yeah. right there. That very is a shortcut. Yeah. I don't that, use social media. That was me for hey, a long time. I was when I was traveling around um, before I came to Bali. When I was traveling around, I didn't have Instagram, but I was on Tinder. People were like, "What's your Instagram?" Oh, I don't have it. I'm sure I I lost a few meetings because of oh, this guy doesn't have Instagram. Like when a girl t tells me I don't have Instagram, I think it's a fake profile. Yeah, no Instagram is a green flag. Oh, so dudes, delete your Instagram. That's what I think. At the beginning, until you've got somewhere. You know what I mean? I honestly feel with Instagram though, there's no point even doing it until you're you're like killing it, you know? Like making lots of money, in great shape. It's 
a guy. As a guy, yeah. I think until you're there, what's the point? It's probably just a distraction. Yeah. It's probably just going to take up more of your time than any benefits that you're going to get from it. So as a man, yeah, what would be the like first day? What's a good I first day to do? What is that? Okay, so what I think you should do is meet somewhere where it's very low commitment, where you can easily escape if you need to. So a walk is a very good one because you, you can meet for a walk and after five minutes you can say, okay, I'm done. Coffee and walk. Right? Coffee so, and walk. So you can do coffee, you can do a walk, walk on the beach, but then you also always have the option to do things afterwards. So you could go for a walk on the beach and then you could go for a sauna. meal or your sauna or something <laughs> and then you could go do something else, Dinner. right? <laughs> and then what you've done is you've done like three things at once. Psychologically, it feels like you know this person a lot more than if you just did one thing because you've been to three different places and had three different experiences. So now the girl feels like she knows you more than she probably does. So then if you want to progress things further and faster, it's more likely to happen because she feels like she knows you more. You know what I mean? <laughs> now you're thinking, that's what you did to me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, so my, I was going to actually make a video on this, like a proper sit down video. How to perfectly execute the first day is you meet somewhere where it's low commitment, but you keep some hours open afterwards. So then you have the option to extend and do something else and do something else. Or to exit. Or exit quick. Yeah. A walk on the beach, then you can go for a drink, then you can go and get food somewhere, then you can go and get dessert somewhere. And you can go and do something else and then you've done loads of things together and it's just been a short period of time rather than say hey we're gonna go for dinner and then you've committed for dinner and then after the dinner it's like okay well then you're trying to get a girl back to yours after dinner straight away like you just done one thing together it's more tricky what's a good what's your ideal first day Coffee, maybe? Coffee. Yeah. Walk well, is just like, it's, I don't know, I, I prefer coffee instead of walk. Well, yeah. Do you feel like a guy is being cheap if he just says, let's go for a walk? Yeah? Interesting. Guys need to know this. Yeah. <clears throat> so if, if a guy says, let's go for coffee, you don't think he's being cheap? It's, I think it's bad because you're like, you, you can, but it's just coffee. But walk is like very low effort, I would say, low, low effort. So my advice when it comes to a first day is don't do anything you wouldn't normally do on your own anyway. Like, I choose a walk on the beach because I'm going to be walking on the beach anyway. So whether I'm with someone or not. It makes zero difference. I'm doing what I'm already doing. I used to eat at this restaurant every night, same restaurant. And I just used to say, hey, come to this restaurant. Because then I'm not really breaking my routine, even if I don't really enjoy spending time with a girl. I'm still eating at the restaurant that I was going to eat at anyway. So I think a big mistake you can make is by like going out of your way to do something very special when you don't even... You don't even you haven't even met this woman yet. You don't know what she's like. You don't know whether you're going to click. You don't know whether you're going to be into yeah, her. It's, um, you know when you meet with someone for the first time, like there's two chances, right? Are you going to like it or no? Yeah. So it's okay, you know. Like it's a risk that you have to take on the first day. Like as a woman, you put an effort, let's say, to put the makeup or no, to just like dress up, you know, just dress to impress. Yeah. It's very girl and yeah so whether you're gonna like it or not it's a risk 
Uh, and then maybe for you, like you have to drive, and for us also. Yeah, so which is why you should just do what you're already going to do anyway. So it hasn't really bit, cost you anything. That's a little bit, like, then it's, it's good on you, it's not good on, on the girl. Yeah, but the way I see it is the girl's lucky to meet me. I, it's in my head, I'm delusional in my head. That's, but that's how you should think. Even if it's not true, you thinking like that, you will get more girls. Because dickheads always get girls, right? They do. They do. I, I don't know why it works. It is not. It's absolutely 100% narcissistic. <laughs> but it works. Rather than thinking, oh, oh yeah, um, I'm so lucky. Oh, I hope this girl likes me. Oh, yeah, it's not like so that. Amazing. It's, what, it's the same like girls. So I hope this guy likes me too. Yeah. No, I am being a little bit extreme, but it is better if they just come and do what you were already going to do anyway. At the end of the day, you're a guy, you're paying for it, so but seems like really the least. In, in culture, well, most cultures, the, the guys pay it. Never do 50 50. Never, ever do 50 50. <laughs> don't do it serious if you have to do and I know because I've been there myself right my one of my first ever girlfriends I didn't have any money so I had no choice but to do 50 50 most of the time I never do 50 50 on the first day or the second day but like once we started living together everything was 50 50 um, and a lot of dates and shit were all 50 50 then I would never, I would never do that again. Like, Why? if I was to go back in time, I would just focus on getting to an income level where I could support someone if I needed to. I don't think that there's any point in dating before then, other than just to get experience. But it's, you know, you're wasting time. If you can't pay for the first day, all of it, you should not go on the first day. Yeah, that's, that's... And even if it's going to be a, something you've got to think about, maybe it's something you can only do like once a month or twice a month, then don't do it. Spend that, that time that you're going to invest and that money into that day. Spend it on you and developing yourself and learning skills so you can make more money. I'm not saying because you know, like I'm a girl, but yeah. Even in my culture, you know, like we're not like we're from the third country. We're yeah. not really, you know, like having a lot of money. But guys always, if they want to take a girl out, guys they always have pay. To save, yeah, like let's say for a week they have to save, and then you know, like on the weekend they take girls, and yeah. they always pay. Yeah. But that's that's. The reality for a lot of people in the West as well. Not they, all. they say no, no, but there's still a lot of people who they don't have a lot of disposable income. You know, they can't do dates every night, can't eat out every night. It's more expensive in the West as well. You know, so like even just doing a date once a week is like a yeah. big thing. Another reason why you should move to Asia. Is because you, you could literally date every single night of the week and it wouldn't be a girls. big deal. <laughs> Today, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I think the best thing a young man can do is leave their hometown early. Go somewhere else. Go see other cultures. Go see the world. Go fly around the world. Yeah. Go open your mind. Exactly. And, and break free from that prison yeah. that has been given to you by society. Get from the bubble. Yeah. Even as an older man, if you've never traveled that much, sounds like you should do it. What's this pink thing they're making? Huh? They're making some pink drink. Watermelon? Watermelon. 
Is it what just watermelon juice? Maybe daiquiri? Oh uh, yeah, it could be that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want another drink? It's okay. What time is it? Huh? I don't know. Check. Oh, oh shit. shit. I think our life's closed. Damn. No, it's 10 o'clock. Really? What do you need I want to get some coconut water. Yeah. 10 o'clock. Any final last words? Level up. Level up. That's right. Bye.